Derita, derita, derita. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, okay. Hop, 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 hop. No me muevas. Las pagos. Hi, everybody. I'm out here in the garage getting ready to go for a walk with Kitty. She, I don't know, I, I was going to come out here and just walk and she was taking a nap. And uh, she must have heard me stirring around or something and came in there and she was rubbing on her stroller and stuff. So I said, well, come on then. Uh, she wanted to go out, didn't you, honey? That succulent is looking great right there. So is our Christmas cactus. Might be getting too much sun right there, actually. I'm thinking I might move that back a little bit. But not much uh, going on with the garden now. There goes one of my pie pans again. It's been kind of windy out here. Um, I see some okra. For some reason, this one plant here in the corner, this one tomato plant, it is just still growing like crazy. I mean, you can tell, look at it uh, all over here, really. Those are branches that have come off of it. It's still wanting to get new baby tomatoes. It's got blooms on it. So, that's amazing. I, I can't believe it. Still doing this good. I'm still getting, they're not as big though. And when they start turning but they're still they taste the same they're really good um, I still got plenty of uh, peppers growing I've used a lot of them we got a lot of them frozen you get this I don't think these uh, green beans are gonna do much more it's got some on them but not not many and those bugs from over here have got over here now. Um, I'm pretty much harvesting most of these carrots. I gave a bunch of them to mom, then we're going to freeze some, and of course eat some as we need them. But still got lots of uh, okra. Let's see. Uh, I get I get probably I don't know four to six a day sometimes not every single day but they're doing real well they're not growing as tall this year last year they were much taller than this um, but they're still putting out plenty of okra so that's all that really matters um, they grow uh, so tall last year they had uh, down at the bottom here they were a lot thicker and you can't just pull these up I have to actually just cut them off and then you know the, it'll just uh, decompose what's left of the root so yeah kind of winding down on the garden and I still hadn't decided if I'm gonna grow any turnips but if I am I would have to do something about it pretty soon or not just not grow any I've already got so much stuff uh, frozen that I really don't need much more if anything I'm seeing if my little succulent that this one got uh, knocked off or broke off of the other one over there I showed you the big one I just put it in here and needs some water I put it in here and uh, it seems to be growing now it's off of uh, that one right there Give it, I got a bottle of water. I don't like to give it bottled water too much. Uh, the pH is not the same as just tap water. There you go. That'll do you for now. I see my uh, garbage can down there. I don't know if I can bring that down here with Kitty. She just likes being out here, don't you, honey? I don't think I can roll her. I'm gonna put her to where she can see me. And I'm gonna go down here and get this 
garbage can and bring it back in. Um, it's not rained any for a few days and the, the grass hasn't really grown all that much, which is great. <laughs> the problem is it looks like some of it's turning brown <coughs> again. It's supposed to rain. Well, we got a, a good chance of rain in the next several days. And as soon as it does, it will all grow real fast. Bunch of those yellow and black ones. <laughs> Look at it. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just putting a garbage can up, okay? It's scaring her for some reason. It's not gonna. It won't hurt you. And my eyes are big as saucers. She doesn't like the noise. I guess it's my. Okay. You never know what's gonna kind of scare a cat, you know? Yeah, I'm real happy with this last tomato plant here. It, all that is new growth up here. You can tell, I mean, it's nice and healthy. And, you know, I blame myself a lot for some of these dying early this year because I was spraying them with the sprayer from the um, sink. I was having to water every day when it was so hot and we had like a drought. And instead of coming out here, you know, and getting the watering can or the, or the hose and watering the bottom part, you know, where the roots are, I just sprayed them and it, it burned them, burned them up. So I learned a lesson. Don't go the easy way <laughs> sometimes. I can't believe this one's still growing some uh, green beans. See. Still growing some. There's some over there. But the carrots, they're looking really good. Um, I showed some the other day in a, a short, I believe it was. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I probably need to get some of this okra. This is the perfect size right here just perfect for this one there that one and this one here too they're more tender because these get real woody fast the clemson are not as uh they're they're more tender than the uh than these others okay kitty let's go you ready Still looking at that garbage can, <laughs> bless your heart. <laughs> and she started going around in circles a little bit in there when I was bringing that down. I don't know if y'all could tell. I didn't think it would scare her. I had one of these, um, I was gonna do a review one time that this place sent me and I told him that, you know, kitty would be scared it's one of these things that uh, you uh, groom your pet with and it has like a vacuum you know it you it sounds like a vacuum and it just it sucks the hair off of them <coughs> I told uh, them that he was really skittish I mean she was really skittish uh, and that uh, I really really doubted that she would be able to sit there and let me do that with that well they sent it anyway 
and uh, oh my goodness uh, she was interested in it you know before I turned it on she you know I kind of uh, brushed her a little bit with it and everything was pretty cool and <coughs> say you remember that huh you remember say uh, what well, the second I turned that thing on she bolted knocked things off the table went all the way to the end of the hall to our bedroom and I you know I tried it one more time and I said you know I'm not going to keep keep doing this she's going crazy you know so I emailed them back and told them you know what happened uh, I'm not going to try to force Kitty to you know sit there and you know, like hold her down or anything like that no way you know so so much for that one I was going to maybe send it to someone but you know how much postage is and it's kind of heavy so I've still got it It would probably be pretty, you know, good grief to send a little uh, thing in like a manila envelope, you know, a padded envelope or something that's eight, ten dollars. I mean, come on, something doesn't even weigh anything, much less if it has any weight to it. And then it'd be, you know, ridiculous. Anyway, a little update on my uh, Cologar deal, the test that uh, came back abnormal, and uh, well, my doctor called me, I think I, I said on another video, and he wanted me to go to my uh, GI doctor uh, over this. You know, he, my regular doctor is the one that ordered the test. But he felt like I should go see my GI doctor. So I called them and they ended up having to call back. Joy called him, left a message. They wouldn't answer the phone all day. And then uh, they finally called back and she said, well, do you want to see a nurse practitioner? And I said, no, not really. I want to see my GI doctor. And uh, she said, well, uh, I can get you in with a nurse practitioner December 3rd. I was like, what? I said, well, what about if I see my my GI doctor? She said, well, he's booked up through the first of the year. <laughs> I said, well, I thought, you know, when you get a, a abnormal result on a test such as this that y'all would maybe expedite it and, uh, you know, get me in to see him. And she said, well, I'll have to talk to the nurse and I'll have to talk to him and uh, we'll get back with you. Well, they hadn't called back yet. Uh, today's Thursday. I don't think this will come out today, but I'm just saying. Uh, I thought, okay, that's something else. And another thing I've noticed, why should, you know, if you have um, a copay on your insurance that you have to pay so much to see a specialist. Mine's $25. <coughs> My question is, why do you have to pay that when you see a nurse practitioner? You know, I went about my feet, you know, I've got like neuropathy in my feet and went to see about that. Found out, they're saying it's uh, because I didn't have any B12. I, when I was really bad with Crohn's, I didn't have any, I was like anemic, you know. They're saying that's what caused it and there's nothing they can do, basically. But I said, uh, they said that'll be $25. And I didn't see it. I didn't see the doctor. I just saw the nurse practitioner. <coughs> I said, well, uh, why do I have to pay $25? I never even saw the doctor. Always, uh, like I've always said, Speak up for yourself. These places will run right over you. 
if they can. But anyway, I ended up having to pay it. I mean, they were adamant about it. No, you, she, she'll be talking to the doctor. Well, I didn't talk to the doctor. I didn't see the doctor. He didn't touch me, you know. But because they're saying because the nurse practitioner will talk to the to the doctor, that that that's why I owe twenty five dollars. I don't agree with that. And I'll say the same thing to them if I go to my GI doctor and see see a, a nurse practitioner and not him. I don't think it's right, you know. So. So, you know, I'm really kind of at a standstill right now. <laughs> I guess they don't think about people maybe worrying about their result and they expect you to, to uh, sit here and think about it till December or after the first of the year. <laughs> uh, the, the health system, it's such a mess. Such a mess. I could talk for hours about all the things I've been through with all the uh, operations I've had and uh, bills I've had to pay. I still owe. It's all in collections. What I ended up owing, and it's thousands, quite a few thousands. And, you know, I'm just making payments on it. That's all I can do. I dispute a lot of it. I'm not going to get a loan. You know, they wouldn't give me financial assistance because they said our house is worth too much. Well, I've got two mortgages on that house. You know, so <laughs> what do you want me to do? Are you trying to tell me to sell my house? You know, I, I don't think so. Work too hard for what I've got. Then when you ask for help, they say, you know, go, go there. Oh. I like seeing some, you know, leaves on that tree on the right. That tells me it's not completely dead for sure. It's just got some dead branches. I, I would like to have that thing just shaped up, you know, cut all the dead out of it. I think it'd be fine after that. Don't have the money, really. Oh, and speaking, you know, that, we uh, were able to get Joy's dentures the other day. Well, she has one partial and one full denture, and she's just so happy. But, you know, uh, seems like when you first get the dentures, like I've got my partials, and I, I don't wear them as much as I should, but, um, I really don't like them, you know. Uh, I just don't. I don't like eating with them or anything. It just feels like there's no place for my tongue in, in them because it's so, you know, uh, it's got the plastic pieces in it and stuff. And it just crowds my tongue in there. It's That's one thing that bothers me bad. <laughs> but anyway, so... When they first put mine on, they felt fine. And then later on, they started bothering me. And same with Joy. She, she came home with them. I was so tickled and she was so happy. And uh, she said, you know, they feel great and everything. I said, Joy, they'll probably, they'll probably end up hurting and you'll have to have them adjusted. I actually could stand to have mine adjusted again. I've already had them done once. But they probably need it again sometime. They charge for that too, believe it or not. I thought that would be something free to come back and have them adjust. But, so after she wore them for, she wore them quite a while. And then she took them off. Then when she went to put them back on, her gum on the, on her left side, uh, the gum was swollen. And she, she, it was really painful to try to get him back on. I said, Joy, you're just going to have to go back now and have them, have them adjust them to where they're not that tight. 
mine have uh, it hurts a little bit to put them in and take them out just a little bit but then it kind of just goes away but then after about uh, I don't know an hour and a half or so or an hour they start bothering me a little bit oh so Kitty, are you having fun? Hmm? Sorry. That lady, that car is the one that just went up this way. Um, if you go up here, it, you have to go to the left at dead ends, and then that comes out on the road that's, that's this way. Like if you go up here, you would have to turn left, and that comes out on the more main, main road. And then you turn this way to come back on this one. Uh, so I don't know. She circled around for something. Must be looking for an address or something, maybe. Well, we've had a nice long walk, haven't we, Kitty? Have you had fun? I know she has. She's so perky looking around. That tail flipping that tail around yeah I just thought it'd be good to come out here and talk a little bit and walk around I I don't I'm trying not to dwell on anything you know I've been through so much uh, that I'm kind of I don't want to say used to it but you know I'm gonna do whatever whatever they say to do you know to find out what's really going on and hopefully it's just like a false positive or something so anyway I think we'll go on in I got some things to do I've been kind of slow getting to it I, I had morning coffee break ready uh, this morning and <laughs> you know it, uh, I, it was uploaded and I fell back asleep <laughs> sitting there on the couch. So I apologize for that coming out so late. But uh, I've had a little bit of a hard time getting to sleep the past several days, you know, with all that's going on. And uh, I just zonk right back out. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this walk and talk with Kitty. She's so pretty. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button, right, Kitty? Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that notification bell so that you get all our videos as soon as they come out. Say bye to everybody, Kitty. Can't say bye? She's just looking around. I didn't even have it on her good. Okay. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. God bless.